Welcome back everybody to day 11 of our 24 days of Sonic. Today we'll be checking out Sonic Triple Trouble for the second game gear. Uh, I have this game on the game gear as well as on a couple compilation discs. Um, obviously using an emulator for this. Uh, there you see Knuckles. Unfortunately, uh, he is not playable. This is, uh, you know, you're able to use Sonic or Tails. But, uh, this game here, uh, took me a while to get everything done for this one because I played it, caught the footage for this, and was like, wow, there's a lot of slowdown here. So I thought, well, maybe it's just the emulator. Went, popped it into Game Gear, there was slowdown. Uh, popped in, uh, one of the Ad Games compilations I have. And there was slowdown. So, I'm not going to be giving this the excuse that I'm using an emulator for why it runs this way. The levels might not be as cheap or anything as Sonic 2, but Sonic 2 in the Game Gear at least runs better than this one. Uh, this was not fun at all to play, uh, to capture the footage for. But, even though it does have the slowdown, I'd rather play this than Sonic 2 on the Game Gear. But yeah, this is the fourth game released on the Sega's good old handheld. Fourth Sonic game released for the handheld, for the Game Gear. And, uh, you know, sounds good. Uh, you know. His sprite, you know, looks good. They use quite a few colors. You got the the peel out still. It's just it, it just he he moves really slow. I'm, I'm not much to say about this. You know, it's more or less a continuation of Sonic Chaos. Uh, I enjoy Sonic Chaos a lot more than I did this one. Um, you know, teasing you with the ability of Knuckles, but the Triple Trouble really just means that you're facing three three villains or three enemies in this game. Uh, Dr. Robotnik, of course, Knuckles, and a new villain, which I believe was only in this game, and maybe Sonic the Fighters? I'm not 100% positive, but uh, Fang the Sniper. And you can only, you only interact with him when you're going for a Chaos Emerald. Yeah, um, Sonic 3, uh, you know, inspiration there, you know, you get have some water in the first, uh, first zone of the game. You know, like Angel Island, just, Angel Island was a lot funner than, uh, than this one. And like other games, the third act of the zone is solely there for the boss battle. And this is no different. And like Sonic Chaos, uh, you're not fighting Robotnik in these boss battles, you're fighting a uh, his creations. Now one thing is once you hit a spring you come out of your ball. So it's pretty hard you're gonna take damage so once you hit that spring, you want to hit the jump button again to go back in the ball form almost immediately. And that's it for the, uh, you know, zone one boss. Well, 
Sonic 3 right here. Whoa. So Knuckles to get, you know, you distracted or anything, decides to nuke the entire island. Now whatever floats your boat. This zone was pretty cool. Uh, you know, has some has some cool little gimmicks. The only problem is the slowdown. The slowdown killed me. Riding mine carts, you know, Donkey Kong esque. You know, the Game Gear liked to have a lot of stuff happen at once. The only problem is the more stuff that was happening at one time on the screen, the more, you know, things would have to slow down. I think that's a big example here. I think stuff like this was the inspiration for how floaty uh, Game Virtual Fighter is when you jump. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how to get the Chaos Emeralds. I, I, I didn't do any research for that. I didn't, I didn't care. If I do an LP or play through this game, I'll know, you know what to do. But I believe it's like you have to have 50 rings at least and, and hit one of those chaos emerald boxes. And then um, you go to some special stage and you'll battle Fang there for the chaos emerald. The funny thing is the, the barrel stuff happened in Sonic 2 on the game here and that was way before Donkey Kong Country, so, you know, I guess as a Donkey Kong-esque, it was more Sonic 2 in the Game Gear-esque. <clears throat> and as you see here, uh, the Rocket Shoes, you know, make a return, and as quick as I got them, as quick as I lost them. Not much to say. Uh, I, you know, the slowdown is real. But if if I have to recommend playing this game, I'd recommend playing it on actual Game Gear. Uh, it does run a bit better than it did on the emulator and on uh, the other compilations. But and this is cool. They actually did the transition right from the the Act Two to Act Three. This boss here, I. I find this very tedious. It just it, this is so long and drawn out. You no, know, and again, bad design. You know, Sonic's moving so slow, yet the stage is moving pretty quick. So. Now, I get he's on a train and running across it and stuff, but you know, to be the fastest thing alive, you, you should not be having to move this slow. Yep, so slow. But that is it, guys, for uh, for Sonic Two, uh, or not Sonic Two, for yeah, Sonic. This. this annoyed me as much as Sonic 2 to record but that is it for Sonic Triple Trouble for the Sega Game Gear I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, we only have uh, 
a couple couple more handhelds left. Yeah, a few more handhelds left on the Game Gear till we move to a another platform. Uh, so, you know, until tomorrow. Later, guys.